So, Fables managed to get the AI running a version of Titan's Battalion. It doesn't have all the rules, but it is enough. This is one army is a combination of Shang-Chi and Jiangi, and the other is chess. And I assembled the game from his footage and put in my analysis tool and analyzed it. Hope you enjoy. This is going to be a little bit of a series, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to have to put these all in uh, manually. King's on the right. Yep. And then palace. Which one? This is actually the, uh, yeah, this is alt two for black right there. Yeah. And then last thing, one more barrier. Let's go ahead and get some stuff out of the way to find the battlefield and the palace and get this party started. So I'm going to be going one to one with these, so this might be a little bit tedious, but let's jump in. Okay. Of course, cannon capture because the loading rule is not enforced. And uh, we have to assume without loading rule, but we're, we're analyzing that. Queen out to... Yeah, makes sense. This is technically unprotected because the elephant doesn't have the uh, square in this setup, and that would be a check with tons of center control. Uh, cannon trying to set up the barrage this way. Wait. I missed something. Oh! I missed a lot of things. So it wasn't pushing this forward to here like I thought. It was... This. Interesting. Yeah, because that's unprotected because this setup uh, doesn't have the horse there. On forward. Hold on, I'm lost. Rook forward. Pawn forward, rook over. Pawn forward. This pawn? Yeah. Horse knight. Preventing the uh, queen from getting the, uh, the critical square here for the check. Queen back, I believe. Yeah, cannon over. And then queen forward. Same square. Forward. Pawn forward, soldier over, queen over, cannon capture? K. Queen over, cannon over, bishop, horse. Queen, cannon check, bishop block, horse here? Yeah. King moves out of the way, rook forward, queen over. King, rook where? There. Mutual protection. Queen over. I wonder why queen over? Is it just to threaten...
horseback pawn forward, yep. Cannon over, threaten the rook. Just to try to gain the tempi. Rook moves over. Soldier forward, pawn forward. Soldier forward, pawn forward, cannon somewhere. There. Bishop capture, horse here, knight here. Soldier, mm, wait, yeah. Soldier capture, knight forward. What did I miss? That was really fast. Soldier capture, knight soldier, that's why. Wait. Why is this more important than... I'm very confused by this game. For one, this is just hanging. That's going to get captured soon. With... Okay. Elephant. Bishop. Why wouldn't you just kill this first? Threaten the rook. Rook has to move. Presumably, like, right here, so it's protected by the soldier. Centralized. Okay, we will get there. This one must have been a very fast game in calculation. We're we're gonna slow this down. There's no way I could keep track of that speed of moves. Jesus fucking Christ. Elephant, bishop, already have those. Horse, cannon. Again, you could just kill the free horse and threaten the rook. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, the cannon protects it this whole time. Ah. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I, I, I'm slowing the video down. Um, I just want to actually sit down and analyze this game. Because this is the first game I've ever had where an AI was playing with any semblance of this. And that means that it's something that I might be able to learn something from, from the results of what the engine did. I just wish I knew how it was evaluating mostly piece values, uh, whether they're static or calculated, what they're based on, how they're calculated. Because I'd assume that's the hardest thing to do with uh, variants like this. Knowing what trades are good and what trades are bad, you'd have to have some generic way to calculate piece values, right? If you can put any piece in. Maybe NNUE is the main one that I can think of, but... I know they're calculated based on the custom pieces, I just don't know what the exact values on custom. I'll ask on the Fairy Discord. Thanks. Fuck, I missed a move. Okay, rook up, pawn forward, yeah. King over, pod. Also, which king are you using? 
Are you using the uh, the full king that we have, or is it still a Shang-Chi king? I haven't seen a move that would tell me any either way. Shang-Chi plus Zhang-Gi? Our king is stronger than that. It can uh, teleport anywhere inside the palace. Just a heads up. So basically, it would be a uh, squirrel plus king uh, still can't leave the palace. If you're familiar with squirrel, which is knight plus Alibaba, which is Alphil plus Dababa plus knight. There, squirrel. Because, uh, yeah, even with everything else, that's why the queen is kept alive. The king is inside the palace, yeah. It just can't, it just can move anywhere inside the palace from anywhere else. Why would it, what makes that difficult? Oh, because, uh, you would have to custom set the, uh, yeah, using night moves cannot leave the palace. Is it just a single ring that locks the king in right now as a shortcut? <laughs> So you don't have to exclude the entire uh, board, you just exclude the area right around the palace? That would make sense. Yeah. So the only way to do that would be to add another ring in the current system. Which again, could be harder to do. I'll add it to the list if it's not already. I'm assuming that makes you, uh, your fables, right? Is that QT Cinderella that you're referencing in that Twitch name? Nice. Blood's cool. Um, one moment. Let me go to the AI doc. I will add it to the palace list. Uh... Pa phase one palace cannon loading so this one isn't an issue uh, setting one king to not be inside the palace and the other to be inside a palace wasn't an issue at all so remove that cannon loading uh, TB pal Palace, King, Frontsies, Dragon, Titan, which is its piece name in game. Okay. Extra ring of exclusion needed to keep the Titan inside the palace due to expanded movement of palace king of the palace king sure pawn forward Okay, so basically this king can always reach every square of the palace, ignoring intervening. Turning the palace kind of into your stronghold. Because that means, for example, this guard and this elephant are always protected regardless of where everything is. Where they wouldn't be in this case. In fact, uh, Shang-Chi plus Zhang-Gi Titan... The Zhang-Gi Titan is just a stronger version of the two because it also has access to the halls and they have the same movement otherwise. So yeah, the this, this cannon and this elephant would all be hanging. This king would have only one square it only, currently cannot get to, which is this one. Ooh, yeah. So these just wouldn't have anything protecting them right now. Okay. Uh... 
Oh. This is what this notation looks like. Which I've been playing most of this game inside of a variation. So, uh. Because I accidentally did a thing. Here, let me promote to main. Delete. Export. Export. Yeah, but is this just this game or is it all the PGMs you just sent me? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Should have just asked for this to start with, but I really like that tool. Um, one sec. Illegal move. Uh, my uh, my application doesn't work for this. Damn it. Yeah, it it didn't work inside of my app. I would have had to turn like illegal moves on or something, and it still would have been confused by the board size. Oh well. I'll just keep using what I am. I'm only going to do one of these games because of that, though. Yep, and this should be mate very shortly. Hmm. Why did they pin their own elephant? I'm curious. Oh, uh, how's the facing king's rule set up, by the way? Do you know? It should be illegal for them to face. They're, they might be intending to force a draw, depending on what facing king's rule it's in. Ah. Uh... Wait, it would probably be under the general. Yeah. 
if the generals come to face each other across the board and the player to move does not move away, it's a draw. Yep. So they're trying to force that. Yeah. Shang-Chi has it being Ill illegal. Yeah. In Shang-Chi, the Chinese one, is illegal for the generals to face. Yeah, that's what we use. So yeah, they just pinned their own elephant by moving that over. But then again, the, the soldiers hanging, they might value that more. Well, it's still hanging. And it wasn't because the elephant has it covered. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to justify that move to myself. Hold on. I missed something. That just jumped. I think I can pretty simply determine exactly what happened, though. Yeah, it, it goes faster than whatever you use to record it could keep up with. So I have to figure out what Black did. Oh, jeez. Well, in any case, this ended up here, this ended up here, somehow. Is there anything else that's different? No, physically nothing else is different. So more than likely, the king is the one that was moving around, so some sort of forced movement thing. Yeah, that would work. And then at some point the uh, rook moved over because there was some sort of counterplay that black could have done. Probably not here because of the cannon, so that might have been it. Can I read the moves on the right box? Oh, yes. Oh, what's the move count here? It's going to be about 37-ish because set up, set up, set up. First move. Okay, so we have minus three. It'll be move 36 is where I was. Uh, knight e2? Wait. Oh, it has a little evaluation thing. Plus 4.18, 11.14. Oh no, that's the time. Um... Soldier C4 is the move I'm looking for. Hmm? Yeah, white is winning by a massive margin, mostly because the, uh, the king itself does not have uh, the, the extra movement it needs. Because here, that exact position isn't even mate. Where this is here. Because you could jump there. Okay, so... Was that the only major issue that was found here?
other than of course the rest of the core rules cannon loading so basically basically you're just actively trying to make this test happen that's cool as fuck fables thanks Call it a white forced mate from there. Okay, so based on the enemy king's strength, uh, yeah, you just want to keep your queen alive because as long as the queen lives on this board, then more than likely all white has to do is fend it off keep the queen alive and eventually the queen will be able to mate the enemy king simply because you get to somewhere like here and the king just defaults to being a little bit screwed you have like dozens of perpetual checks and even if you have the shang chi uh, perpetual check rule that would be enough to force the win So this game is essentially keep the queen alive, keep the king alive, win the game. For white. That's my evaluation right here. Uh, cannon capture, technically legal move, queen out, makes sense. Just trying to utilize this as fast as possible. Based on that, this entire game is going to be white trying to get the queen somewhere in this realm of the board. And the moment they do, they win. So, there's going to be a lot of early queen moves because you're going to have less than 10 move victory lines where black is barely fending them off. Pawn forward... Cannon over again, trying to set up that barrage, because right now this would be mate. Queen over to block, rook to cover the cannon. Again, this is inside that sphere of influence, and would have been a free piece. On forward, rook over, rook forward, knight forward, or horse forward, knight forward. Yeah trying to prevent this because that already I would be looking at this move uh, just because I want to get here but uh, it has problems with uh, it is a lot less problems than I thought personally on this board I would have done this as soon as possible just get in there probably collect a free elephant while I'm at it Maybe a free soldier. Worst case, they like counterattack my uh, queen. Uh, soldier over, queen back. Threaten the cannon, force the cannons to connect. Queen moves out, soldier forward. Wait. Technically. This move, white move, black move, white move, black gets... So that was a move in Gote that did very little. Uh, that is technically a bad move in that case, unless it is somehow strategically advantageous to allow the cannon to be protected by the horse. I guess it opens this horse up to now be hanging. That could be it. Which, personally, I probably would have captured it. Pawn forward, soldier over, queen over again, cannon capture, queen over, cannon here, check, bishop, horse, king move so that the bishop's unpinned, this soldier's hanging, protect the soldier, got it, queen over, horse back, pawn, cannon, rook, soldier, 
Yeah, so basically what this does is blocks this bishop's ability to move. It's very weak right now. Pawn, soldier, pawn. This soldier's hanging again. That happens a lot. Threatened cannon. Oh, I see. Thanks. Oh, so that's why... Yeah, White was trying to get the cannon to move back. Not gonna happen, man. It did disconnect this. But I guess you don't really have a choice. It's the only good move that maintains this soldier. So you just let the other soldier die and the bishop free itself. That's a tough spot. The other halfway decent move would have been forward, and that would have pinned the bishop to the queen as well. But it would have allowed the queen to uh, move forward, capture this, threaten this. <laughs> the king just making a little wall for itself. All right. Uh, horse out on the pawn knight to support it. Yeah, because you need extra defenders. Current count to each. Soldier captures anyway. Knight refuses to recapture because it realizes that, hey, this isn't worth the trade. Knight forward, soldier over. Why soldier over? Why let this happen? Rook back one, queen forward check. Yeah, I guess. That's fair. What about just rook forward? They mutually protect. Sure, the check is coming, but you move here and you're fine because you're not in this diagonal. Hmm. Soldier over, rook dies, elephant capture. Bishop capture, horse capture, queen capture, horse back, queen threatens, rook, rook moves back, pawn forward. That's a hell of a face off. <laughs> That's about as closed down as you can be with there still being play. And of course it immediately starts to try to get resolved. The guard moves in to prevent this mess. As well as the fact that the guards are now mutually protecting each other on this side. But of course, because of the way this king moves, black is now committed to defending this fortress on this side. So this is the queen's goal. Pawn forward, rook to support, pawn forward, soldier capture, pawn capture, soldier over, queen forward. Horse is not hanging. That soldier's now hanging, that's why. Soldier forward, pawn forward again. Soldier capture, pawn forward again. Rook up, pawn forward again. 
Rook check. Knight moves in the way. Soldier forward. Pawn capture. Elephant capture. Now the fortress is busted open. Queen in over. Pawn over and forced mate. I think this is probably easier to analyze than atomic. Because atomic, you're basically forced to see everything more turns in advance, because all the tactics are a few turns out, but they're all really devastating once you see them. Okay. Overall, it didn't do anything too egregious. I, It was still a really good game. And I need to analyze a few dozen uh, a little bit deeper than this with the full rule set, as well as look at a total win-loss percentage on some mass games. <sighs> you want to play some Titans Battalion? I could send you the link to this page, reset everything. You get some rest. See you, Fables. Sup, Ace? That was, uh, that was good. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm basically just chilling, getting this party started. I wasn't going to stream at all today because I did for so long before, but, uh, Fables dropped a fucking bomb on me that he had been doing testing. This basically confirmed a few of the theories I'd already held pretty pretty solid on uh, how the palace versus medieval matchup works. Uh, if you're curious how these actually occupy... Ah. I can't speak, but I'm one-taking this. You can take a look at how these armies operate now down in the description below. And uh, hope to see you on the Discord. Have a good one.